let it rip Now I'ma let it hit I'ma come with them with skills, make them wanna quit Best believe I'm set to win If you testing me, you better think again Let it rip Now I'ma let it hit I'ma come with them with skills, make them wanna quit Best believe I'm set to win If you testing me, you better think again It's the Gadget Guru Um, This is gonna be a video on the um, new Psylocke deck that people have been talking about, um, mainly Dex Island Enigma. Um, someone asked me to actually make a video on this, and I, I did kind of want to make a video anyway, but f since I was asked to make a video, I decided, you know what, I'm going to make one, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it. Um, first of all, it's a psychic psychic um, lockdown deck, if you don't know what it is. Psy lock. I mean, it's kind of, you know, pronounced, but in case you don't know. Um, first of all, it's not a bad deck, but I do not like it from just the start, just by looking at the deck list, because it uses Brain Research Lab. Brain Research Lab is very bad, because if they MST you or blow up that Brain Research Lab, you're in a world of hurt. Um, I mean, it itself can turn into like a 4,000 plus burn card on you, and if they get that off, then oh, it hurts. Um, and it's not hard to access Ancient Fairy Dragon at all right now. For a lot of the decks in the meta, it's not even hard. They go boom, 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 Ancient Fairy, blow it up. I mean, the deck can stop Spell and Trap. That's awesome. And you can stop one summon per turn. That's not bad. If you get your full combo out, you stop Spell, Trap, and one summon per turn. That's not bad. Um, what people don't understand is that's not that just just that isn't going to save you. And another problem I have with this is one of the lock decks. Like, all of the lock decks, the Jinzo lock, the Spell Cancer lock, all of the lock decks through the formats have always been, have always proven to just, they can't go past tier 3. They just can't because they're they're not consistent enough. Um, when I look at the deck list for this, it looks good from a starting point of view. But then when you start looking at it even more, you're like, well, wait. Mm, it's not bad, and you see a lot of situations that'd be dead hands. So at the same time that it's not bad, it's not that great either. Um, that's one problem with psychic decks is when they have a... when there's a point to a deck, you want the deck to be able to achieve that point as flawlessly as possible. When I'm looking at this deck, there's a lot of hands I can see conflicting where you just draw dead cards and you're like, oh, I'm missing one card. Dang it! Because like, if you get your setup, boom, 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 you know, you're negating spells, you're negating a summon per turn, but you're not negating traps, then they're just going to kill you with traps. They're going to be like, oh, you can't negate traps. Set Icarus, set a Blackwing, go Icarus. Or, you know, set Mirrorvors, or set Tarantula, or set anything, that, set any trap that would mess you up. Or even set Deep Prison, and Deep Prison the, you know, whatever you have, you know? I mean, Deep Prison and Cherry Beast. The point is, is if you don't get one part of your setup out, then your setup kind of falters and it has issues. Um, and like I said, that's kind of bad. Um, honestly, like, there's times where you can get the Naturia Beast and the Decree out. Boom. No spell, no trap. Awesome. Awesome. You got a good field so far. But what do you do against monsters? Nothing? Like, I just don't understand. Like, I've got Naturia Beast. And Royal Decree. Kageki, Kagamusha, Shien, Boink. Gone. Or, you know, I mean, say you get... Say you get Brain Research Lab out, you've got, like, double Naturia Beast and Decree and stupid shit. And they go... Alright. You know, Special Summon, Normal Summon, Synchro, Age of Fairy Dragon, pop your field card. Or, I mean, even then... do 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 Black Rose, your entire field's gone. And then you lose your field card and you take damage. So, it just doesn't seem too consistent to me. Um, is it a fun deck? Yeah, it's a fun deck. I think it be, could, could be pretty fun to look at. Um, and even if you look in, in if you look at um, Dex Island Enigma's um, blog on it, I guess you could say, even in there, he says uh, he came up with a decent deck list. Um that's rather enjoyable. So it, it, just by saying decent, I mean, you're already saying this is not a tier one deck. It's just not tier one. Um, it's just a good deck that'd be fun to play. So right there, you're looking at a tier three, at best a tier two. Um, and to be honest, I don't think Mind Master will be banned. I don't think he'll be banned from this deck because it isn't that broken. I mean, if you could do this setup every turn flawlessly, fine. I could see the point. 
but it's not flawless. It's far from flawless. So, I actually don't think this deck will make that big of an impact. Um, I think you might see one or two at regionals, but I honestly don't think it'll make a big impact on the meta right now. I think that Samurai and Plants and Monarchs will just overwhelm this deck. I mean, I don't think there'll be much this deck will do about those kind of monsters. But, you know, that's my opinion. And that's off of what I've looked at. I've looked at different builds online for this deck. I've looked at um, different tech choices they could play. You know, I, I've looked. I've tried to broaden the horizon and not just look at his deck, but look at other decks that people are thinking of. And I mean, I don't remember where it was. I think it was. I think it was on. Um, uh, where was it? Hold on. Um. Yu-Gi-Oh! Blog City. That's it. Yu-Gi-Oh! Blog City. Um, I found a deck list and a person who's been playing with this deck, or uh, playtesting with it, and even he says here, it's a fun deck, but he honestly doesn't think it'll live through originals. Because it's... He said when he does get the hand, you know, he summons everything and it's flawless. He's like, it's fun. You can't stop it. But he's like, if you don't get it, you lose. If they get a first turn on you, where they get set up, you can't win. That's what he said. He literally said you can't win warnings and stuff will just eat you alive. There's nothing you can do against it. So that makes me think that it's just too it's too conditional. It's just it's not consistent enough to be considered a broken deck. Um, so this is my opinion on the Psylocke deck that's running around right now that people are talking about with the extreme victory cards and stuff. Um, I wish all of you playing it good luck. Deck Sign Enigma, everyone else playing it. I wish you good luck with it. I hope you can make it really good because I would love to see a psychic deck, honestly, like be topping at, I don't know, you know, shonen jumps and stuff. I mean, I would love that. Psychics are a really cool archetype. I'd like to see them come back, but I just don't think it's going to be this deck that brings them back. Sorry. I think the psychic OTK before was a lot more stable and a lot better. So this is the Gadget Guru, and I'll catch you all later. I decided to make a little, a uh, quick little add-on to this video um, about why I don't think this deck will be very good, because I started thinking about it, and I was like, wait, I didn't even explain why I don't think it'll be very good. So let me go over this pretty quickly. First of all, you can still set. Now, what does this mean? It means you can still Fossil Dyna, you can still Raikou, you can still do a bunch of shit like that, and they can't stop it. Um, and if you, and the, the combo depends on that brain, brain research lab. So if you Raikou that thing, they're taking 13 grand to the face. That's game. That is game. Game beyond belief. And if you fossil that now, they lose their entire field. Gone, except for the decree. But they lose their entire field. Now that's just to start off. Another reason is effect failure. They go summon. Activate my mass effect. Tribute. You go Valor. They go son of a... That's it. That's game. Because as soon as you kill that mind master, they can't do their combo. So Valor just, boom, drop the Valor. Out of there. Game over. Forget it. With the new fairies coming out, Herald Orange Light is going to be used a lot. So you're going to go summon, Mind Master, distribute, effect, Herald of Orange Light, gone. What are you going to do? There's nothing to stop it. I mean, I guess you could tech my bodies or something, but other than that, there's nothing to stop it. Um, or even, like, if they go first, what is the number one card you run into in today's meta every single time you try and play? Solemn Warning. Summon Mind Master. Solemn warning. Good game? That's all I'm saying. Like, I can see so many outs in which this deck would be good, but the minute they have one of those cards, you're like, no! <sighs> you know? I mean, this is like infinite rage. So, you know, I just wanted to add a short little explanation on there's so many ways to get out of this lock that it's not actually a lock. In my opinion, a lock is spells, traps, and monster effects. Gone. All, if you get rid of all three of those, then you win. I guarantee it. The problem is, this deck doesn't do that. It goes spells, traps, and normal, and like, summons. You can still set and get past this deck. That's the thing. That's what's going to kill this deck. In my opinion, that's what's going to kill it. So, and then of course, Valor, Herald of Orange Light, all kinds of stuff like that. So I just want to add that in, so I'll let you, I'll let you guys go now. For real. See you later.